Yo everybody, it's uh, Trip Edits. This is my first type of video like this. Um, first face cam video. So today, uh, a lot of you guys asked me how I make my posters. I'm just gonna be making like a tutorial on how to do so. Uh, let's just get right into it. So just for the record, this is a tutorial on how I make my posters. I make it differently than other people do. I don't just use Adobe Photoshop, I make it different. So before you get in my comments saying like, like, oh, you're doing it wrong. This is how I do it, all right? And it works. First, what I do is I get this easy paint tool called Clicky. It's free, it's a website called clicky.com. Really easy to navigate, it's got layers, easy to use. It's got a full control panel, color control, brightness and contrast, sharpening, all that stuff. Now, I just get straight to it. First, we're gonna need a background, you can use any kind of pattern or texture on Google. I have a couple pre-made. All right, so here we have our background. Uh, it has to be in good resolution. I mean, if, it, if it's a bad res resolution, the whole poster is gonna get fucked up. So I just have this texture wallpaper that I have here ready in my gallery. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna get uh, your images of your fighters. So obviously the fighter images have to be good resolution too. I like to put my fighters in first. Just transform the images, I guess just the size that fits, something like that. Okay, now that you have the images set up, all you want to do is go to Layers, combine the two layers, and then go to Gradient, and click on Eraser. Make sure Opacity is at 100, and do a little Eraser Gradient, going upwards, just like that. Don't do it too much, you want to see, you want to see the fade. Now that you have the images blended in, you're going to want to duplicate the layer. You want to go to the layer, the original layer, turn down the brightness completely, a triangular or a triangle blur and put it at somewhere around 140 so it has a drop shadow this is without and this is with gonna combine now we have the fighters now you don't have to do this but I do this to make the resolution better on the fighters gonna have to sharpen a little bit to make it more visible little details on the skin okay so this part's tricky this part is color correction where you customize the highlights on the fighters and all that so it really depends on what color the primary color is on your poster but for me it's purple as you can see so what you do is add a layer call it overlay copy the color of the background now make sure you're on this put the size on max uh, put opacity at, at like uh, like 15 or something like that. It doesn't have to be exactly 15, just around it. And start coloring on like around the fighters. She was a sad girl at first, now she just wanna rock. It was a real crazy night, but I don't remember much. Nothing in this world can turn me on more than just your talk. Once you know that, go to eraser. Put uh, the size of the eraser on max. Uh, put opacity at like 20. 19 or something like that and start very uh, very carefully erasing the solid parts of, and the edges of the highlights to make it fade more. do not hold down your click just tap 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 now it's more magic now if you feel like it's not enough highlight you can add another overlay layer bring it under that overlay layer that you just did. Now you want to just very gently drag over, drag over the highlights you've already done. Not too much. Light taps on the faces. It doesn't matter if, it, if you've done too much. You can always undo it with the undo tool. again erase most of it this is without highlights and this is with highlights make sure you don't get your highlights too too much outside of the fighter portraits want to erase the edges make it nice and smooth Not the primary color, but secondary colors as, as black and white. Add another overlay layer. First, you want to do black. Now, just gently tap around the fighter's faces with the black highlighter, just to saturate the faces, darken it all the above, make it match the color scheme more. KSI has a lot of white lighting on his face in this photo, so I'm gonna want to put it more on him than it is on Jake. If it's too much,
much, no worries, just erase it. Now this is without and with. Without and with. Now since the primary color of the poster is purple, we're gonna go to the fighter portraits. Let's just turn off the highlight layers. And now, uh, turn to you. A little to the left, a little more purple. There you go, this is before, after. Gonna re-add the fighter portraits. Now I feel like, I, f I feel like this is a little too much highlight, so I'm gonna remove some. Now you can do this if you want, so you can add an extra highlight layer and put white highlight around the fighters. I'm gonna do that. You can also put it on their eyes and on their teeth sometimes if you want to, to make the colors pop more, more appealing to the eye. You don't want to make it look like fake eyes though, you know, it's not too much, but voila. We're basically done with highlights. I'm going to take this X. Obviously you're going to want your X to match your background as, as much as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we have the X in the middle. See now, it blends too much with the background, it's almost hard to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with the X that we did with the fighters, we're going to add a drop shadow. And to do that, duplicate the layer. Go to the first layer of the of the uh, what you're what you're using. Put the brightness all the way down and blur it to make it more visible. You can invert it, make it a white drop shadow. We're gonna do black. So it's uh, to make it easier to see. You can also duplicate the shadow layer to make it even more easier to see. Maybe blur it a little more. That much easier there. Or you can duplicate the X layer, make it all the way white and then overlay it. You can, you can mess with the opacity, change it to your liking. Now combine all the layers with the drop shadow. There you go, your X is finished. Now, you're gonna go to the bottom layer, whereas the background under all the layers, we're gonna add a new layer with the plus right here. You're gonna go to gradient, turn off eraser, put your color on black, make sure it's on the first one and opacity is at 100. You're gonna wanna start somewhere around here and drag up just to add a little darkness gradient going up. This is an effect for the photo, and it will look better. You don't have to use it though. Now, the Misfits X to Zone series, the little logo up here, you can adjust whatever number you want to put on it later. And now you also want to put the promotions, the brands, the logos, all that stuff. So we got Prime, Kick logo, Steak logo, yeah, all, the, all the logos. Now you want to add the Zone logo, Put it at the bottom, make sure it stays centered, doesn't drag it off anywhere. Somewhere right here under the X, we have the Misfits Boxing logo. I'm gonna put it in the middle, somewhere up here between the fighters. Now, in this case, it's a little too bright to see, so I'm gonna add the drop shadow like we did with the other photos. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this to the clipboard. All I have to do is press Control C. You can also do this in Photoshop. Now, you can also do this on Photoshop, it's probably easier to do on Photoshop, honestly, but I've made a weird habit of doing this on Photo uh, Photopea and then going to Photoshop, so I don't know why, but I do. So, then you want to paste your image in Photopea, and then go to text, and I will provide the fonts in the, in the description. Then you're going to want to add the fighters names, so we got, we got KSI right here. Now we're gonna do destination and the arena. So let's see. If you don't know what date you want to do, simply just go to Google, look up. Let's do May. Let's do May 2025 calendar. Go to images, find a random photo of May 2025 calendar, and pick a Saturday. Let's do May 17th. <laughs> There you go, you want to save it as a PSD. Now remember, this is how I do mine, KSI vs. Jake Paul. Now that we have the PSD saved, go back to Clicky, go to Import, and then Imports, the PSD, add it as an image. Now, you see we will have all the text layers. What I do is I remove my, my background, 
I copy all the text layers, I erase all the text layers, and then I paste it so it's all one layer. Duplicate the layer, go to the first layer, invert it, and blur the inverted layer so it's a drop shadow. Now we save it. Now we're gonna put it in Photoshop, add a camera raw filter, all that stuff. Okay, now we're in Photoshop. We just wanna open, go to your last saved file. We're gonna go to KSI vs. Jake Paul poster. Go to the filter, camera raw filter. Now, the quality looks good, the coloring looks good, the poster looks good. So that's basically the end of the tutorial, just save it to your uh, folders. And yeah man, that's that's how I make my posters. Uh, it's, it's uh, one could say it's a lot harder than others make their posters. It's just how, which is what my habit is. It's just how I do it. Um, so yeah, if I hope this helped you, and uh, I will be making more videos like this. I will be making more content like this. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace out.